Welcome back to Inspire at Random and thank you for joining me once again. Smash that like button and subscribe button if you haven't already done so if you like my content. This video's content is going to be different from my previous ones because today I'm going to be talking about peak performance and three of my top tips in peak performance training. So uh, first and foremost, if I want to share uh, an author uh, or content creator that is good in this topic, one of my favorite peak performance um, content producers is Stephen Kotler from the Flow Collective, so you can look him up as well. So first and foremost, okay, start with the hardest task first. Every day, you should already be giving yourself different tasks to do. And when you put the hardest task, a lot of people think that you want to knock out the easy ones. It's like in an exam paper. Uh, in school exams, you, you do the hardest, I mean the simplest task first and get to the hardest ones later. But at the same time, the hardest questions also score the most points. Uh, and in life, there's something else as well when you attempt the hardest task first. Uh, one of the reasons why I've been away from social media, why I have not been posting videos for the past nearly one year, is because I got too caught up with life and other stuff. And it's like, in my mind, I used to tell myself, you know, I'm just no inspiration to do this stuff. Um, but you know, when I when I recently started doing all this flow training, uh, all this peak performance training, I realized that one of the key aspects of a peak performer is to push constantly, push your limits. That actually brings us to the second point. Be your best when you're at your worst. It could be you know, at the end of a day when you've got yet another task to do. So, um, and and uh, you know, I, I do like some uh, uh, businesses involving like, uh, you know, import, export, uh, trading, coordination, and whatnot, and it's full of surprises. And that has trained me though to see how much potential I really had because sometimes when you, th when you don't think things are going to get any worse, it does. But you solve it. And, uh, and here's the thing. When we, when we get success, it leads us to more success and more success. Um, in the Bible, um, like fate, no, faith has been compared to that like a mustard seed. And there's also a quote in the Bible uh, that Jesus said, Blessed is he who does not see and yet believes. So we people, the human, the human race, are people, are beings with very little faith. And a lot of us, uh, we do not believe that we can do things until we achieve them. So when you attempt things at your most tired, okay, let's say uh, from a, from a, physiological perspective it may not be a very good idea to hit the gym after you've you've been working on a, a research project for like two days straight without sleep or two hours of sleep per day because that's that's not going to be very good on your cardiovascular system but let's say if you wanted to create content if you wanted to uh, you know like let's say um, if you have continually had this challenge of like you know not spending time with your spouse or not giving your spouse the attention uh, uh, he or she deserves uh, or wants, right? Like try doing that at the end of a day, a tiring day. And that is something that actually, um, you know, think, think of like mothers. They, they have all their daily challenges. There are working moms out there that they come back from all their tasks and duties. Some work multiple shifts. Think of some, a mom that you know that provided you stuff, uh, that provided, I mean, so provided you, like, you know, uh, uh, what it means to be part of a home, uh, even though her day was so tough. And if she can do it, why not you? So uh, this is my second point. Be your best when you're at your worst. Uh, and starting the day with the hardest task first, again, you know, gives, gives you that belief that, damn it, you know, if I can do it, yeah. A lot of us will push off the difficult uh, task to the next day, to the next day, to the next day, to the next day. But when you give yourself a history of tackling these hard tasks first, um, it makes you think, hey, that was a hard open one. It wasn't that hard. And the hardest tasks get easier and easier in time as well. 
So imagine the first day you like,、uh, you know, the mental stimul, the mental requirement for doing a hard task, you know, the per- there's 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 actually this difference between perception and reality. So perception could be this much, but in reality, is this much? It's like when you start a new gym program, the first day it's like, oh fuck, I don't want to do this anymore. It's killing me, and then, but you know. Oh, you know, maybe high blood pressure. I gotta do this anyway. I come back in and I do it,、um, uh, and then the second time around, I was like, "Hey, it wasn't that tough." And by the third week, fourth week, you're 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 fit as you know, you know, ten、uh, ten years, twenty years ago, which is a true story for me, by the way.、Uh, like two years ago, I was I was like you know,、uh, m- no, three years ago, I was like massively overweight, fat. Uh, that that's another story for another day. Now, coming to our third and final point for this video, for peak performance. Okay,、um, write down your goals, but do not share them until you've achieved it.、Um, the human body is is a strange thing. Like, okay, there there is, it, you you this is this is one point that's been highly debated. But the here's the thing, and it's true. Because when you talk very much about stuff,、uh, sometimes your mind is so tricked to feel as if you've already done it. Especially for Asperger people out there, well, my Aspie folks,、uh, you know, give me some、uh, comments and highs and、uh, highs in the comments down below. And and that's actually our our biggest problem because we're so good at visualizing stuff, we're so good at tricking ourselves into believing that something's already happened when it has not. So therefore.、Uh, Keep your goals very private.、Uh, it's good to have some accountability partners,、um, you know, where you where you share with them and and share it as a challenge. They need to get things, certain things done by a certain time, but you know, don't just go like, oh, you know, I I plan to save, I plan to save the world, I plan to get this big house or whatever. Because I、like, don't tell people your plans and your goals,、um, but you know, make、uh, if if you want only with a few people, and make、uh, them your accountability partners to see that you actually go through with it. There's a difference between、uh, like having accountability partners versus、um, you know like、um, you know telling telling your 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 goals to people because when you tell accountability partner, I wanted to just clear up this point because I know some of you are going to be confused. A lot of you always get confused in many different、uh, training portals about this topic about like you know sharing goals and accountability partners because、uh, having accountability partners is like putting a goal. In、uh, breaking down into stages and timeline, and and、uh, you know having a a、uh, a chart of you know this day do what that day do what that day do what are we on track or not? Okay, so、um, all of these three things I shared with you today work very well with each other. <laughs> Just trying to do some anime thing right there. Uh, so um, last recap. So we have to we have to start with the hardest thing first. In the day, that creates that cuts procrastination, makes you better,、um, makes you believe in yourself more, makes you see your ability. Okay, and being your best when you're at your worst. Some of you have been wanting to start a new hobby, but you've been procrastinating. Some of you've been wanting to learn a new skill, but like you know, well maybe when I fi- after this finish this project, not gonna happen. But when you do stuff, when you start doing stuff, then you you you'd be surprised that you have. You have the ability to pick up new hobbies and and things like, you know, what the heck?、Um, I made a video,、uh, I made my first video on this channel、uh, after nearly a year of break, a day ago. But look how high in inspiration I am,、uh, just like this. And the same can happen for you too. So、uh, I hope this is like you know leading by example. And finally, your your goals. Okay, keep them,、uh, you know, private and close to you. Um, do not share them until you've done it. But if you,、uh, but do have accountability partners that you can hold you responsible for the timeline deliverables that are in towards creating that goal. Okay. So、um, if you have any questions about the things I've discussed, I wanted to、um, to you know like just banner about some stuff.、Uh, do do have a conversation with me in the comment section down below. Subscribe for my content.、Um, And I, I, I do hope,、uh, you know, I, I,、um, you know, I can, I can have a chance to even like do some videos with you, some of you guys in the in the future as well. I would love to hear your stories, and、uh, 
I, I let's let's uh, you know help build each other up, and uh, let's help each other you know accomplish greater things, greater flow. See ya.